Y'all think if I went out in public and tried a kissing prank, um, like it would work? Let's play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors for a quick kiss. I, these public interviews must be stopped. But the like, world, like Chad, the world would be boring without kiss or slap and kiss or grab. Views What's up, come back in full force. I'm gonna bring back kissing pranks, bro. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the one to do it, bro. I'm gonna bring back kissing pranks, bro. The world needs them, man. I'm gonna bring them back. Real. Sh I'm gonna bring them back, bro. No one kissing you? Oh, come on, bro. I've seen nothing but public interviews on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace. Do y'all be seeing the fake only public interviews? Platform, I always that at the end they just be like, subscribe. To somebody and shoving Man. a mic down somebody's throat. It's honestly insane. Five years ago, public interviews were actually pretty big. You know, it started off pretty innocent with YouTubers like Smooth Geo. Basically going around. Smooth Geo is a C word, bro. And you know the four letter C word I'm talking about. And King Sid. Both these. Oh my God. These n are freaks, bro. Out of school and asking people trick questions. And then from there, it just went to people asking freaky questions. <laughs> Yo, the title, the emoji. <laughs> the emojis in the titles too. Spit or swallow, eye emoji, drooling emoji, wet emoji. Like this so weird, bro. Freaky questions. Dude. I don't know where this like jump came from, where people went from asking trick questions to freaky questions. <laughs> Instagram part two, dude. You know what I be wondering though? How do you be like a YouTuber starting off doing this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get in a hundred views a video, you grinding, you're grinding kisser grabs. You doing three daily uploads of kisser grabs a day. Like, how do you start off doing this? But it just happened, and this actually went on for a few years until the pandemic hit. Once the pandemic hit, you know. Yeah, my brother inside, watches those. I've seen him watch a kisser slap like, video. Are you gonna do? I see my dad in the kitchen at breakfast. Everyone in the kitchen on his phone watching a Facebook kiss or slap. I swear to God. The public interview oh inside your crib, you know? So yeah, public interviews really died down. But like I said, now since everything's opened back up and everyone's pretty much back outside, you know, pandemic has been over for a fat minute. Public interviews are back and bigger than ever. And instead of it being in a longer form, <laughs> light skins or dark skins, What's the worst public interview question, yo? From format, there are like public interviews in long form format still, but they've gotten pretty popular in a short form Squirt format. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some pretty funny public interviews out there. Like one of my favorites right now are the public interviews where like the guys are kind of mean to the other person, but it always ends up being funny. Here's an example. The question is, what's goats right here? This the only public interviews. These is the goats. All my life, these funny. These. This is the GOAT. What's one of your biggest achievements you earned in life? One of my biggest achievements, I would say, was they I quit? was working in um, the manufacturing. Boring! <laughs> like, even though that was kind of messed up, you know, the man was literally about to pour his heart out. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty funny. Like, let's be real. Another type of public interview that I like are the ones where it, they'll, like, go up to somebody. Y'all remember the flashing kids prank? Ask if you could give your younger self advice, what would it be? And usually that other person. Y'all remember that Roman Atwood, like the biggest wave of motivation. Y'all don't remember that? He acted like he like was wearing clothes, but he acted like he was naked and went like this in front of kids, and their parents started tweaking. If that did that today, he would. Hold on. They put me on a list for this, but it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, they used to call anything a prank, bro. Like, what the? Yo, even if a n was trolling and a dude did this to your daughter, would you not have to spark the nigga in the face? You can't laugh this off. Like, what? I see you. You ever seen anything like this? Dude, hell no. Nah. Pranks used to be the best shit on YouTube, though. That's all I used to watch. Boosie Tube, Nelk, Roman Atwood, all of that, bro. Y'all, ah, uh, y'all gonna call me old. Y'all don't know who Ed Bassmaster is, do you? Might not know. That's the OG, bro. Didn't you know Ed Bassmaster? Oh my God, man. Yo, this was him, bro. Used to do the drive-through pranks. Oh my God, these used to. Oh my goodness, bro. 
you know, where did my video go? You know, where did my video go? Oh, there we go. Ever. And if you were to go back in time and have a conversation with your 20 year old self when you were starting from zero. <laughs> this bull like, no, we don't like educational yourself. interviews. The best advice I heard bro. was the world becomes a better place when a man plants seeds for the future generations for shade that he will never enjoy. Like those are pretty good. And then you also got the public interviews where they're like, yo, what do you do for a living? I'm like, <laughs> okay, that looks crazy. That looks crazy. Don't do that, right? Hey, y'all always try to do weird shit, bro. That looks crazy, man. Oh my god, dude. He said caught. Everyone's bro. seen one of those videos, you know. What do you do for a living? Okay. But when I tell why you, why has no one asked me that yet? Are starting to get out of hand, bro. Tell me why. I'm at the gym the other day, you know, getting in a quick workout, just running on the treadmill. I look up and I see on the TV screen there's this commercial in a public interview format. What is the dumbest thing you've ever wasted money on? I was paying for two Netflix accounts over like three years. That's like this a commercial. The f this a commercial. We get thousand dollars how'd you figure that out i saw an app that shows you all the monthly subscriptions you have and how much you're paying like if you don't get this fake commercial on with these mr beast edits out of here like bruh that is a paid actor that is not no civilian on the street that you just went up and interviewed like bro the acting is really out, worse bro. than the out. acting on Chill the out. black and orange website bro. porn up acting is not even bad on god there's some of those porn stars that actually could probably get hollywood contracts if they really wanted to real sh Hating. Some of them can act. I ain't gonna lie. On God, they can. On my life, some of them can act. Bro, like these people gotta get on. Look, I don't know who created this commercial, you know? But I'm gonna tell you right now, your target audience does not want these fat letter edits on Chat. a commercial. Emily Willis, she can act. I ain't gonna lie. And call me a hornball. I ain't jerked off in three days. Shit, on God, she can act. Look, I'm gonna be real. TV is for older people, you know? I don't really dead. see a lot of Thank people, you for the sub, Brandon. a lot of the youth watching TV as much as they used to, you know? Growing up, I used to watch a lot of TV That's and true. also YouTube, but I can only imagine that kids are only really watching YouTube. Do kids watch TV anymore? Bro, I haven't... Bro, I used to... That's all I used to do. I used to just watch TV and go outside of my backyard and fucking play in the dirt. I got a ringworm like three times, bro. I was a retard, like retard kid, bro. I used to put like dirt on my face. I don't know what the fuck I used to be doing, bro. But shit, when I was little, that's all I used to do, bro. TikTok, Twitch, Netflix, Disney Plus. Now I used to and eat grasshoppers and shit. TV, it's usually an older person, like a grandma or something. Bro, no random grandma is gonna buy Rocket Money because they. But nigga, they it's because Mr. Beast edits TV sucks now, though, bro. You, not even a toddler yeah. would purchase this if they could. You know those memes of like those undercover police officers trying to fit in? That's kind of what this commercial feels like, bro. Like it feels like a terrible terrible attempt to fit in with the youth it's honestly atrocious but if you thought that that was bad bro it gets even worse because the other day i was like you dumbass niggas be acting like gen alpha never goes outside i see the same family outside every day first off chaotic cooper you're white i've literally talked to you in discord what do you mean you dumbass niggas what are you talking about bro hello you are literally a little white kid, dude. What the fuck? Is this nigga good? Like what? Porn stars are good actors though? Yes, bro. My pants! No! I need them back! No! What the fuck? No, I didn't. No! Shout out Lil D, man. This nigga. Got me some good nuts. Pause. Shout out Lil D, bro. Shit. I ain't gonna lie. Lil D, you done got a nigga right a few times, bro. Shit. Actually scrolling through Twitter, you know, getting in my daily scroll, and I saw this public interview pop up. You know, I was like, oh shoot, a public interview. Let me watch it. You know, public interviews are pretty eye catching. Tell me why this was a public interview of a woman asking people to stick their hands in their pants and give her a smell check. Based. Yeah, I would kill that bitch. <laughs> Yo, she would actually have to end the video. I'm not even kidding. If it was a hot day outside, she might die. She might die, bro. Like, no weird shit. If it was a hot day outside, nigga. Oh, my God, Basically dude. Basically touch their balls Holy and shit. let her sniff it. So, I'm here with today. 
the homie. Lit. Rich homie Quan in the building. Y'all know what it is. So my question for you today is, could you stick your hands in your pants and let me smell your balls? <laughs> That's all good. Go ahead. Stick, it. stick your hands. Let me smell them. I want to see how I smell. Because, you know, I guess we stinking. On the eyes, too? Nigga just palmed her face like a basketball. What the fuck? Nigga just palmed her whole face like a motherfucking basketball, dude. Ew. Okay, it smelled good, y'all. Smell check. It smelled good. Like, this ain't a manscape what? ad. Why are we going around asking people to sniff their balls in public, bro? That is actually wild. Nigga, and You know what? what? Actually, since we're asking- Nigga said this nigga's a rapper doing this. Is Rich Homie Kwan really considered a rapper still? Let's be serious, bro. Questions. Why did this man agree to that? Like, the fact that this man actually stuck his hand in his pants, you know? Rubbed his balls for, like, maybe a second or so. Pulled his hand out. His crusty little ball- Nigga, actually, out. if he- only touch the balls he good the gooch is where the stink accumulates oh and put it up against her i'm gonna nose, be honest and she just started sniffing that like a hound bro that is absolutely crazy to me i'm not gonna lie dudes will do anything when the baddies come around oh you said you wanted me to put my hand in my pants so you could sniff my balls anything for you my precious little queen like what are we nigga, doing if the bitch bad enough i'll do whatever though not whatever but like yo nigga smell my balls feel free nigga Fucking bro what has society bro. even come to dog can we also talk about what is this woman even wearing this woman got on like 37 belts as a skirt don't get me wrong a for creativity but what the f even bro. is that bro, bro. <laughs> This is also blurred out, so you can't really see it, but she has, like, a belt on as a bra, which is kind of, I, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Rich I legit don't chronic, know what's worse, the question rapper, in this video or this woman's fit. I'm gonna definitely go with the question, if I'm being real. Asking people to sniff their balls in public, that's kind of crazy. Another style of public interview that I think is pretty cringe are those obviously fake public interviews, like this one right here. So how does it feel to have a- This bitch is a scammer. I told y'all while I was banned, I was really down bad, really bored. I did go on her OnlyFans. Her shit was free, nigga. Hey, it's free. Fuck it though, it's free. Nigga, I clicked the free button, I subscribed for free. Nigga, I'm looking through the page, nigga, I'm seeing these captions. But naked, playing with my, uh, in the bathtub getting hit from the back i'm like oh my god 15 dollars no i can't do it i can't 15 dollars no 10 dollars no i didn't do it got on telegram found that shit that shit was a fucking scam imagine i paid that 15 imagine i paid that fucking 15 that whack ass shit she was fucking lying bro she was fucking lying bro on god this bitch was lying bro like, what? She was lying like shit. Like, they really be capping. I ain't gonna lie, too. Nah, I'm not even going. I was, Chad, I was really, I'm being so real. When I was banned, I was, I was lost, bro. I was really lost in life, bro. Thank God I made it back, bro. I was really going through it, dude. Real shit. My sister that has an OF. My friends always ask me if it's pink, but I don't really know what they mean by that. Do you, do you know? Click the link in my bio. Just, I can't. Like, this content is edited for a child, but this woman's over here trying to promote her OnlyFans, which I think is just kind of weird. And why did this woman even have to drag her brother into this? Like, why are you over here asking your little brother if it's pink, bruh? I just... Yo! Just know that this man be getting the meanest swirlies when he goes to school, all because of this. For oh don't my know, god. This is actually the girl from the Mr. Beast Squid Game video. She Chat, was 067. Yup. Niggas know. Niggas know the real. Man. What? Niggas know, bro. Niggas know, bro. It's the Squid Game, bitch. Oh my god, bro. Yo. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> and basically, Yo. after the Mr. Beast Squid Game vid, she basically started an OnlyFans. I was running out of ideas. I'm just gonna start OnlyFans. Yeah, she's now Yo, over here pimping her little brother for the OnlyFans subs. Like, it's pretty crazy. And if you thought that that one was bad, here's another obviously fake public interview that's pretty cringe. Next shots are missionary. If you gonna look at me like that, I'm gonna lay you down and I'm gonna eat it. All night. I'm gonna suck it. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh my 
my god, bro. Ew, man. Mm. And then once you shaking this shit, I'ma keep sucking it. I don't care how sensitive it is. I promise. I'm really a munch for real. Can I find out? This is the single most cringiest thing I've ever <laughs> seen. And brother, when I tell you, I used to watch Degrassi in high school. Not the old Degrassi, the new Degrassi. Yo, and this bro. is more cringe than that. My guy is over here faking the corpse husband voice pack. After you feel sensitive and you start shaking, I'ma keep sucking it. Like, what the fuck? Who says that? How do you chat? Even if I had a wife or a girlfriend, I wouldn't be able to say that shit. Like, no, like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, I wouldn't be able to say that shit with a straight face. Like, on God. If you gonna look at me like that, I'm gonna lay you down and I'm gonna eat it. I like eating things. I like eating food. Yo, did that nigga die? No fucked up shit. What happened to this guy? He was popping on God. Rage tweeted. What happened to that nigga, bro? He fell off? Yeah, but bro, he had like, he was friends with everybody. <sniffs> nigga, he did not tweet. He lost his eye? No, he didn't, bro. Yeah, there's no tweet, bro. There's no tweet. Who knows, bro? Did the uh, his update shit tweet something? I don't know. Nah, he ain't saying nothing, bro. He ain't saying nothing. He said, check the Twitter com. I'll put it. There is no way something actually happened, bro. Nigga, you ain't put shit in there, dummy. The fuck? Yo, niggas is lying like shit. You did not put nothing in there. The fuck? Nigga, I click on the Twitter com and I see fucking chat. I need encouragement. I might jerk off. The fuck that got to do with him? The fuck? The pinned? Do harden verse the hairline I burden den buns. If this bitch Julie is roasting me in German, all my life she's blocked. And I'm going to have a vendetta on German niggas for the rest of my life. Oh, it's a nigga too. What does nigga say? What does nigga talk about? Really? That's his first message in my chat too. Hey, fuck you and fuck Germany, you bitch ass nigga. You have the worst hairline in the world, you bum. How do you say fuck all Germans? Um, let me cover this last part. Fuck alle tyskere dræber dig selv. Fuck alle tyskere dræber dig selv. Bitch ass nigga, eat this dick. What wrong with you? Like eating food. My guy is over here trying to deepen his voice like, yo, shawty, I'm gonna eat it. Fuck. Like, bro, get on somewhere. My guy sounds like he has morning breath. Wait, is it TOS if I say something in another language? In GTA, in GTA. I didn't even think about that. In GTA, in GTA, in GTA, in GTA. In GTA, bro. I don't know why I thought I'm an idiot. In GTA, dude. In GTA, in GTA. Oh my God. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I'll show what I told him then, bro, because, nigga, that looks bad now. This is what I said, bro. But I don't... Fucking hell, man. Holy shit. All right. In GTA, though. I mean that in Grand Theft Auto 5, bro. In Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh, God. That's what I mean. Chill. In Grand Theft Auto 5. Chill. Staff in chat? No! Say on God! The fuck up. No Twitch staff is in my fucking chat, bro in the afternoon like i just know that this man's breath is hot and why is this man flicking his tongue out back and forth like he's some sort of pokemon that is absolutely disgusting what do people expect when they post something like this like do they expect everyone to go like oh my gosh they're so freaky oh my gosh you can just tell it's fake because there's no way that this public interview just started with both of them chest to chest just talking freaky deaky to each other i mean other. bro if a bitch in a public interview telling you she wants to fuck you Shit, I'm with it, bro. Nigga, I'll get freaky in that interview. Oh, shit, I don't care. Fuck it, though. I'll do it, dude. Oh, God, I'll do it. Bro, like, what is this, dog? For the people out there that think, like, this video is real, go try this. Actually, I was gonna say go try this in public, but at the same time, if you do, you might, like, run off with a sexual assault charge or something. <laughs> Do not try this, dog. Do not try this. What's funny is there's actually a parody of this where instead of asking backshots or missionary, they ask backshots or a good career. Backshots or a good career. I will pass on the backshot.
and niggas had to make it corny, bro. I would rather watch a kiss or grab or a fucking kiss or finger or a fucking slap or fucking penetrate than any of that fucking cringe voiceover shit on God. I don't give a fuck. What is this? Freaky spin the wheel public interview. Chat, can I do one of these, please? You got it. You got to show it. No. You said what? You're a victim. We gotta go. <laughs> you can just tell the 17 year old to show him a nude, bro. What the? Why is she spinning the wheel if she's 17? Uh, really, dude? Really? Now, where people will go up in the street and ask women if they'd rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man? What the fuck type of dumbass question is that? Yeah. Man is scary. Um, with a bear. What I've heard about bears, they don't always attack you, right? Unless you, like, fuck with them. So maybe a bear. Pro depends what man, but probably a bear. Are these niggas retarded? Wait, are these niggas retarded? 100% a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but definitely a bear. I'm not gonna lie, these answers are pretty baffling. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some creepy. Why would you not want to be with it? The man could be Indian, the. Hey, no, somebody did say that. I didn't make that up. But, hey, that's facts. I ain't gonna lie, yo. Indian nigga will probably... No weird shit. NGTA will probably fuck you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You might gotta go with the bear. I ain't gonna lie, dude. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That nigga might... That nigga might fuck you, bro. Oh, my God. Bro coughs like a... I, bro coughs like an Indian kid? All right. Creepy weird it, dudes out there in the world, you know, some some creepy odd dudes. But I guarantee these women would never genuinely want to be alone in a forest with a literal bear. Like you are not Khabib, you are not fending yourself off from that bear. No man is gonna do nearly as much damage as what that bear could possibly do to you. Like they out here acting. That's like they not said, true. You, you never seen a horny Indian nigga. He right. That chat is actually true. That nigga will fuck you up more than a bear. I ain't gonna lie. With Jeffrey Bro, I seen a fucking uh, Twitter post. Some four Indian niggas fucked a goat and then ate it. Niggas creep pod the goat and ate that bitch, bro. I swear to God. Dahmer and R. Kelly or a bear. Like, bro, they just said a man. Like, I don't know. I just found this kind of weird. Like, nobody said you were going to be in a forest with freaking Genghis Khan, dog. Like, like I'm I dead know. ass. I just found the answers to that question really dumb. Like, do you see the size of these bears? Don't get me wrong. I like, get those women, bro. Pretty cute and cuddly, you know? When you see a bear, you just think of, like, one giant dog. You think y'all could beat a bear in a fight? Some niggas be doing that shit. Like, what's the name? The, the, the fucking Indian wrestler, or not India, the fucking wrestlers, though, or the UFC niggas? They be fighting bears. What is that, Zero? What the fuck is this? Why does Drake look like that? This nigga get plastic surgery? Why does he look white? A wax museum? Where is this at, nigga? I'll go. What the fuck? Where is that? Where is that? Nigga, I'll go to this. New York City? Nigga, I'm going to New York in August. I will dead at... It's Las Vegas, nigga. Fuck Vegas, nigga. That shitty ass city. Fuck Vegas, nigga. They got to put this bitch in New York, bro. Okay. 
but I promise you, bears do damage. Bears are some of the scariest creatures out there. One on one with a bear is an absolute death sentence. I promise you. Y'all would yeah, rather fight a bear or a lion? Public yeah. interviews. I don't know. I just felt like talking about public interviews in this video. I thought it would, it would be pretty funny. Don't get me wrong. There are some good public interviews out there, like I said earlier. But at the same time, why are we sniffing people's balls? Nigga, cause that shit entertaining, bro. Like what? Is there a kiss or a sniff?